Hey, it's nutritionist, maintainable weight loss coach, Trisha Mandis, and I am thrilled because I have an amazing human and client with me. Her name is Jane Ramos. She's 59 and she lives in Rutland, Vermont, and she's here to share her experience eating optimally and shedding pounds sustainably with you. So thank you so much for being here, Jane. I appreciate it. Thank you. You're so welcome. So let's start with why you joined the program, why you hired me, what was going on with your health and your weight before you signed up? Oh my goodness. At 59, I have been through every diet program that has ever been thought of or imagined and uh, none of them have worked. I'm also diabetic, which was concerning uh, because every time I went to the doctor, I would hear you can't have this, 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 and this. Um, and then when I saw the ad for this program, they said, well, you can have this, 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 and this. Um, it was intriguing because it was different. I had never heard of optimal eating before. Um, and I'm a Southerner and I like a challenge. So I wondered if the food in the program would be something I could stay with. Um, and I was surprised to find that even this Southerner uh, who's used to eating just all kinds of stuff that's not good for me, uh, could take hold of a program that taught me how to eat the right way and still lose weight. So um, I was encouraged to just take a chance and see if it worked and it worked beyond my expectations. Well, I'm really excited to, to chat about um, that specifically so you came concerned about weight. Is that correct? That is correct. And I had about diabetes. What other health conditions were you concerned about? I had just been diagnosed with obesity, hypoventilation syndrome, which means um, I could go about 10 feet and I would uh, be out of breath and have to sit down. Um, so the only way that you can reverse OHS um, is to lose weight. And I knew I needed to do something for myself and I needed it to work. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's, that's part of the reason I joined the program. And I know I asked you before the call, if you were okay, if, you know, I shared what you are and aren't okay with and also chronic kidney disease too. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. You decided to take the plunge and you hired me as your nutritionist. It has almost been nine weeks Tell us what results have you experienced eating optimally? I don't think you have enough time to, to go through all of the results that I've gotten. Um, I In nine weeks, I've lost 13 pounds. Um, a lot of that without being able to exercise because of that condition where I can't uh, catch my breath. Um, I have been able to take control of my own health, or at least it feels like I'm now in control and I'm, I'm working through a program with somebody that makes me uh, accountable <laughs> and uh, doesn't leave me off on my own to figure things out, which is where the healthcare system, I feel like sometimes fails you. It just tells you what you need to do and expects you to be able to figure it out on your own. And what has and it been like for you like from an emotional perspective, especially to feel like you actually have some agency in your own health that you feel in control. How has that affected you? Well, again, I'm, I was born and raised in the South in Louisiana, and I was trained to make sure everybody else in my life was happy, healthy, fed, and okay. And if that came at the cost of how I felt about myself, then that was fine because that's just the way you're raised. Um, and I realized at 59, I was exhausted or 58. I was exhausted from taking care of everybody else and not spending any time at all on me. And when doctors tell you, you need to do A, B and C, and then you don't see them for six months, you just get right back into that pattern of taking care of everybody else and making sure that you're the last person on the list. Um, and you can't take care of other people unless you take care of yourself. So what has it felt like for you now to have more boundaries in place for your health, for yourself, to put yourself first as frequently as you need in order to live longer and reach your health goals? What, what has that felt like for you? 
it feels like Christmas every day. I mean, I wake up happy in the morning. I know I'm in control of what I eat and how I feel. Um, and it's, it's been remarkable. It's been, um, people tell you that you look better, you feel better, um, you're happier and you have to agree because you are. Um, it's just been amazing. I have never found anything else that comes close. And your blood sugars are improving. Blood sugars are improving. After glucose in the morning. Everything, uh, all the numbers look great. Cholesterol, uh, blood pressure, blood sugar. Uh, and I'm hoping in the next week or two to be able to take off some of the medications that I've been taking now for so long. So and that's yeah, that's very excited for that. How's your energy changed since you started eating optimally? I don't get tired um, and I don't get hungry and I don't have that letdown in the afternoons where uh, whatever you ate for lunch, now you have this lag at three o'clock. Uh, you're eating three meals a day plus two snacks plus dessert. It's almost like I don't want to see food anymore. There's so much of it in this program, um, but it just, it makes you feel healthy. I don't know how else to explain it. I just feel like I'm doing the best I can do for myself. And that's such a new feeling for me because I'm so used to taking care of everybody else. One of my favorite stories that you shared, and I'd love for you to share it now, is when I got a text from you because you were screaming at your house. <laughs> in the morning. Can you tell me, tell us that story? I believe... Um, Oh, I, now I don't even remember because I've screamed since for hitting another number. Um, I knew when I started to drop the weight that it would be an up and down kind of thing. That's just what it is naturally. Mm -hmm. And I remember saying, if I ever saw an eight in the middle of my three digit number, that I would be screaming and she would hear me from wherever she is in Pennsylvania. And uh, five o'clock one morning, dogs were up. So I got up and I went to the bathroom. I got a drink of water and I said, well, you know, the scale's right here. Let's just see. So I got on the scale and I saw an eight in the middle for the first time. And I screamed as though somebody was trying to kill me. I was so excited. It got everybody in the house up, the boys, my husband, the dogs, they all came running to see if everything was okay. And when they found out I was screaming because of a number on the scale, <laughs> they rolled their eyes and went back to bed. I love that. The waking everybody up out of your yeah. excitement, maybe a little yeah. shock and enthusiasm. And now that eight, now you're seeing it as a seven. A seven. A more weeks have gone by. And I'm going to show our listener right now, because I know you've given me permission to show your weight loss chart. Sure. So this is what the up and down of healthy weight loss looks like that Jane's referring to. It's, I always say the scale is like a bunny rabbit and the only way it knows how to move is to hop. We just want to make sure it's hopping down a hill, which is exactly what Jane um, has been experiencing. So this is about 13 pounds down in less than, in less than nine weeks and, and what it has looked like for her, which is amazing. Cause as you mentioned earlier, um, we didn't start with exercise. We didn't even no. get you moving with exercise until like week six or week seven, mm -hmm. which is amazing because now you are getting back to exercise. You have less weight on your body that you're carrying and you have more energy. So you're exercising in a way that does meet your actual ability, which brings me to mm -hmm. another point is how has eating optimally, losing the weight, how has that affected your mobility and endurance? Um, I still have the issue with being out of breath, but it's not nearly as severe as it was. Um, there were mornings before this program were just getting dressed, uh, just going to brush my teeth and going back to the living room or, or to the bedroom or whatever. I had to literally put on oxygen and sit down. And now... Um, I'm able to move and walk and do what I need to do for myself without being quite so out of breath. Um, it's easier to move 
In fact, I never thought I would say this out loud to any living person. I actually enjoy the exercise because my arms are sore, my legs get sore, but it is a good feeling because I know I'm doing something good for myself. So I thought I would hate it and would dread it and it would be awful. And it's not, it's not. And I love the story too of at work when you would walk to like the kitchen to get lunch. Normally you'd have to pause and sit once you made it there before you actually got your lunch together. But now with your increased stamina results, et cetera, you're able to walk into the kitchen at work and you don't need to sit and take that break before you prepare. No, not at all. Not at all. The mobility, it's unbelievable. I'm walking up to the mailbox to get the mail uphill. Granted, it's two tenths of a mile, but it's still two tenths of a mile. Um, Were you doing and, that before? Like the no, week before you started eating? No, I would have to drive the car up to get the mail on the way home. Look at so. you go, Jane. <laughs> Just made my day. Here this stuff makes my day. Yeah, you're doing an amazing, an amazing job. And how has the food been for you and eating? Are you liking what you're eating? Feeling satiated, et cetera? What's it like for never, you? Never, ever hungry. Never hungry. Um, I love the food. It tastes great. I'm learning how to make new things and enjoying the new processes. Um, I'm learning how to eat out and still stay on the program and still be able to see the scale go down. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm learning how to supplement things where I wouldn't even have thought about how to change things out of a recipe and make it optimal, but it's so easy. I never expected it to be as easy as it is. I hear that all the time. It's so much easier than I thought it would be. Yeah. And another story that I love from your experience too, is when your husband would go out of town and please correct me if I'm wrong, is you'd feel like anxious and worried about how maybe you're going to take care of yourself while he was gone. And then we put a plan in place. This is, you know, the type of help you need to ask for, what exactly we need, et cetera. And you implemented that. So how do you feel now when your husband goes out of town? He is actually out of town. He's been out of town for a week and will not be back until the end of this week. And um, I am prepped and set for the whole week without any problems at all. And because I have a little more mobility than I did, I'm able to do those things that he used to have to do for me. I'm able to do that for myself. So there's no terror involved anymore when he leaves and has to go deal with with what he needs to deal with so so uh, good life is very good I'm very happy for you to hear that so what would you say to the person watching this video that has dieted for decades tried everything is on the verge of like losing hope maybe they already have and that feeling kind of waxes and wanes what would you say to the person watching this video right now uh do whatever it takes to to join the program because I was at that point I was at the lowest point I was looking at possibly having to do a full bypass surgery and um that scared me um it works this is one of the only things that I have found that actually works. Um, It makes, it lifts you up. It makes you feel healthy. It makes you feel good. Um, And Trish is the best. And one of these days in the next, I'd say eight months, I'm going to be on a pole with Trish. Yes! I am determined. Uh, Please don't hesitate. I know what you've been through. We've all done it. We've all gone through every single program hoping for a miracle. This is it. Thank you so much. And also just like the thousands of dollars you're saving every month on your grocery bill, like very happy for you for that at the same time. To to drive through and grab food. Uh, Yeah, no, it's been great. Absolutely wonderful. Well, it's been such a joy being on this journey with you. And I'm so proud of you. And I know that this is just the beginning for you. So thank you so much for sharing everything with me, Jane. I appreciate it. 
Thank you, Trish, so much.